Welcome back to ND Day live overtime as promised. Here he is, Malik Zaire, the MVP of the Music City Bowl. He's involved in a very tight competition right now with his good friend Everett Golson. You guys both had good springs. Yes, yeah, uh, it was a great opportunity to get a chance to work and uh, get a lot of reps in this spring. I think we did a good job of just communicating throughout the group and with our new coach, Coach Sanford, getting him uh, acclimated. And uh, we definitely got the ball rolling well in spring, so it's a good start. You know, I got to go to a bunch of the practices, and this is a really tight competition. A lot of people think that you guys might be glaring at each other and not helping each other, <laughs> but, but you and Everett are helping each other on virtually every snap. Yeah, it's definitely a, a family thing. I think that uh, it's good family competition. You know, yeah, yeah. Family reunions and you got the game competitions. I think this is like similar in, in, in the relationship type of standpoint. Uh, we all we do is uh, just try to make sure that we're doing our best and being the best person we can be for the football team. And uh, that's the mindset we have going into each practice. And uh, like we said, we don't control what happens in the in the decision making process. Uh, the coaches do that. That's why they get paid the big bucks. And uh, I think that the focus that we should have as a quarterback group is what we're doing now. And that's just staying family and trying to be the best for the team. Now, how do you think that you are improving right now? Let's take us back to the beginning of last year to now. How are you better? as a quarterback? I'm, I think I'm just being better and being consistent on a daily basis. I think um, when you're going through a, a, a transitional period of uh, getting a lot of opportunities to play it with the first team and, and being in the games and, and making an impact, uh, the biggest thing to continue your success throughout your career while being a Notre Dame quarterback is just being consistent. So uh, just the, getting in the habit of doing the right things all the time, I think, is something that uh, I've I've installed it myself and worked on a lot in the spring and continuing to get better heading into the next season. Now, my very first year here, 33 years ago, 1982, the star on the basketball team was John Paxson from Archbishop Alter High School in Kettering, Ohio. And most of your classmates here may not know who John Paxson was, but I know you do and everybody at at Alter knows who he is. Yes, I definitely uh, walk past him in our little athlete hall of fame in the hallway. and. Uh, uh, it's just an honor to be able to continue to uh, live on that legacy that, our, that my high school was a, uh, had a fortunate enough uh, ability to have people that like John Paxson who were great. So uh, it's it's inspiring. It definitely is definitely inspiring and helps me continue to grow. And now you told me there's two or three students from Alter that come to Notre Dame every year, and that's very impressive because Notre Dame is now turning away more than half of the applicants to get in here. So yeah. obviously you got a pretty good academic foundation in high school so that uh, you can do as well as you're doing here at Notre Dame. Yeah, it's just something about those Alter kids. I always <laughs> tell them. Um, yeah, uh, I actually have a, a classmate that was real close to in my high school that was able to come here and, and been something who's on the football team. Mm -hmm. So uh, I always thought that was pretty awesome that, uh, you know, he worked pretty really hard in the schoolwork and doing on the football field to get where he's at. And that's something you have always done and you're doing again is making sure that you and your teammates get involved in the community because the Notre Dame football team does do a lot of things in the community. And I know sometimes you get a little concerned that, that you don't think that the team or players uh, get the credit or people are aware of all the things that you do do. A lot of people think there's a separation there when really there isn't. Yeah, I, you know, we don't really, like me per se, I don't really do it to have uh, a lot of attention brought on the fact that I did it. It was more on the fact that I felt like uh, the community that gives so much to this school and, and, and vice versa, I think it, it, it meant a lot to me and a lot to my teammates to be uh, a first hand in into the experience of trying to change people's lives in the community because they definitely, uh, you know, have, have issues that we can help with and we have issues that they can help with. And so we're just trying to keep that relationship, the relationship strong and uh, continue to build the, the success that we have together. Now, Malik is majoring in film, television, and theater, and as you can tell how well he's doing here tonight, yeah, uh, sure. he is a very well-spoken young man. So again, I know the focus is always football, but someday football will end. Uh, do you hope to put your FTT degree to good use later on? Would you want to be in front of the camera someday? Yeah, there's a, there's a, a possibility. There's definitely a possibility. I, I do want to focus on being close with uh, you know, the kids and, and kids and working with kids and reaching their dreams. So that's kind of my thing, too. And by the way, folks, he's wearing his monogram jacket. That's one of the biggest honors any athlete can have. And I know he wears it with pride.